What's happening, guys? It's your boy, Russell Hans. So, every once in a while, I like to talk about uh, what's going on with a specific person. You've seen me do that with Jonathan. And I want to talk about why Chanel used her, her vote on Mike. Why did that happen? Uh, I'm going to try to explain it to you, but right now I'm in some sort of stadium seats or something. And I'm not sure what this is, but I'm at a casino. Show, show y'all around before I start talking here. That's the casino. Background. Hopefully the... Hopefully the footage don't mess up due to the music in the background. But I'm going to do my best. If it does, I might have to put music in the background. I know some of y'all don't like that. But I'll do it anyway. So, why did Chanel use the vote on Mike? A lot of people were cons uh, confused about that. And let me break it down. Uh, and I'm going to tell you if it was good or bad. Uh, my point of view, of course, you have your own. Was it a good decision to do that? Now, it seems a little smart at times. Maybe even brilliant. But... Uh, I think it was a bad move, and this is why. Now, they all were supposed to vote for Daniel. That was the deal. Let's vote for Daniel. He'll go home. Well, if Daniel uses his shot in the dark, then all of a sudden, Daniel's safe. So, Daniel was going to vote for Chanel, right? He was going to vote for Chanel. So, if Daniel is safe, he and Daniel votes... For Chanel, Chanel goes home. She was worried about the shot in the dark, so she wanted to tie the vote. So she voted for Mike. So now what happens, uh, he votes for Chanel, and she votes for Mike. So it's a 1-1 tie. Now, what happens then is they re-vote. When they re-vote, Chanel's going home anyway. So she threw the vote off on Mike, so it would tie and she would have a shot but the only problem with that is uh, she's in trouble because she put Mike's name down so now she has to go back to camp and talk to Mike about why she put his name down now she says that she's a Chanel is a social player right that wasn't a good social move you write somebody's name down then they immediately don't trust you. It doesn't matter what you do after that. Now she knows, Mike knows that he's on the bottom of her list for sure because she just wrote his name down. So I think her best move would have been to hope for the best because that's it. Uh, that's the best social move, of course, because you don't have to write somebody's name down. And you're hoping for the best. You hope he doesn't use it. And he, I heard in an interview that he said he wasn't even thinking about using the shot in the dark. She probably knew that. She got a little scared because anytime you hear your name out there, you get scared. Now, uh, some of you might say, oh, at least she trying. It's a good, it's a good try. It's a good try. And on the outside looking in, some might say it's a great move to make because it gives her another shot to stay in the game. Again, Mike, I mean, uh, Daniel was not using his shot in the dark. He didn't use it. If he would have used it, then she would have been brilliant for a second until Jeff re reads her name and she goes home. Then everybody would be like, well, at least she went out fighting. And uh, when you write people's name down like that, and then they go back to base camp, all hell breaks loose. You cannot trust someone that just wrote your name down. So I can't wait to see what happens next episode when he's like, who wrote my name down? She's going to say, I did. I thought, you know, this. She'll probably explain it next episode, but hopefully I explained it good enough. Probably not, but I tried my best. I know in my head what happened and what she was thinking. Hopefully you get it. But let me give you a little tour here. I can't go too far 
uh, or too close to the to the pool because they got music over there and I know I'm gonna get demonetized. Let me see. You can see anything? That is the Golden Nugget in Lake Charles, Louisiana. So I just wanted to come on here and talk about that. I'm gonna do my player's performance tomorrow and give the Russell crown. Very interesting who's gonna win that. I, I usually watch the show twice to do that uh, because uh, I want to concentrate more on each player right before I talk about it. But that's all I got for you guys. Until next time, keep hope alive.